this. I've got a no mouth. <laughs> Sorry. This is Danette and the other Eric, not Stumpy. Um, Denise is still in Nebraska taking the grandbaby um, there, and Stumpy is working. Eric had the day off, and we are taking advantage of that. Um, we were blessed, uh, golly, how long ago? Um, it was probably six months ago. So, yeah, uh, six months, probably a little longer. Maybe. With um, a friend of ours gave us a um, the frame to a greenhouse um, that was built by a local um, building company here in our area. And <clears throat> it's just been sitting, you know, idle. Um, and when we started the garden renovations or you know, re-renovating the um, raised bed area, we decided we wanted to, to um, fix this greenhouse and move it out there in the area of where the large, large, <laughs> I can't even talk today, where the large um, raised bed area that we're doing is. So, you know, we're always fiddling, always doing something. We're not sitting idle, are we? We're making it up as we go. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, we are. We bought. So. We went to Home Depot and we've got some uh, sunlight panels, polycarbonate panels, uh, the ridged kind. And this, <clears throat> This frame has already got the screw holes, all the stuff from the old panels that's just been obviously busted up or whatever. So we're just going to have to cut this polycarbonate to fit. And um, it's a 10 by 8. And so, of course, all the panels come in 8 foot or 12 foot sections. And um, so um, we, we bought several 12 foot panels to do the side walls <clears throat> and then we've got eight foot panels to do the roof we bought a center um, ridge cap to go on it we're gonna have to figure out how to do the edges if we want to make it look pretty and, and for us it may not look extravagant but if we can get it functional, functional. and it looks decent we'll be happy with that because um, I mean already uh, you know, we put about, we'll probably put about 700, a little over $700 into, into it, but the panels aren't cheap, and these panels, as long as you don't let tree limbs fall on them, that type of stuff, put it into place, it should last for a good long time, versus plastic, which tends to, over time, right, break our, down and our hoop there. house, greenhouse, was plastic, and it didn't, it didn't last. No, and I, you know that was just a te you know temporary thing. It might get two years out of that. But this hopefully we'll get multiple years out of. And yeah. um, and it's already pre-built with shelves inside. So the hope is we can make a rock bed, uh, build a frame system, put it on, um, and have this thing look a little more like a greenhouse yeah. instead of just a little plastic hoop house. Yeah, and it has a, a motor fan for, you know, to turn on. Yeah, for air circulation. Uh -huh. So I'm right. going to have to, I'm going to have to check the electrical part of that and see if that fan motor works. If it doesn't, we'll have to buy one of those too. But. We'll still come out cheaper than buying one brand new. I correct. Think, I if, think. Even I, if we have to do all this, it will come out cheaper than buying one brand new for sure. I would think probably we would probably save no less than five hundred dollars. Yeah. On it, you know, because I'm not real sure how much a brand new one cost. So um, even if we end I up, I think I priced have a thousand to a couple of them, and I'm yeah. not sure how big those were. Some of those looked a little smaller than what we have. They might be eight by eights, or but I think they were around twelve hundred or thirteen hundred dollars for them. Yeah. Um, and so we'll see if we can get by doing it a little cheaper. The biggest thing is it'll be functional for us. Yep. So, you know, if we want to 
put something in it during the winter, protect it from the cold, uh, we'll be able to do that. So, mm -hmm. uh, if we want to grow something through the winter, we should be able to grow. We may even try to grow a tomato plant, you know, through the winter. Yeah. See if we can have fresh tomatoes, that type of stuff. So right, right. That, that's what's going to be nice about it, is we can play around with it a little bit and see how we do. Yep. And, uh, but just about to get home and start that yeah. process. Made it back. I had a little hair appointment I had to run to. And Eric has been here. He's got the greenhouse moved over here close to the raised bed area. He's got all of the um, fiberglass, I guess that's what that is, pulled off. Um, he's pulled the motor off. Now he's got the door off and the back window. I think there's a back window. Was there a back window? Or a window on the side? No, I don't think there's a window. Okay, anyway, he's got he's got everything pulled off. He's uh, pulling out wall's nest out of the light yeah. switch. Luckily, I didn't get stung. I wish you'd seen some video of that. Yeah. But yeah. I, uh, I was moving this thing, and of course, I had to get the tractor and a chain because it was too too bulky for me to move by myself. And yeah. I was like, what? And <laughs> something's flying around me. And I don't uh -uh. know how I didn't get stung, but they were flying all around where I was missing. I was under this pole. Anyways, Ooh. took care of those rascals. Absolutely. This is a pretty sturdy um, greenhouse. Um, and we're going to get it going. He, he and Kyle, our uh, adopted family next door, uh, come up with a plan to um, on how to lay the panels on here and which way it needs to go. Um, we're right out by the raised beds. It's going to go out here in this area eventually. So, anyway. Yeah, we're going to... We're about to get ready to start putting these panels on, and we're going to see how that goes. We'll see what this electrical stuff looks like on these, and this actually still looks good over here. What was this one like? Yeah, this probably needs some... That needs new wiring. Yeah, a, new, a new outlet... Um, well, I think the outlet's fine. I just, I just think it needs some new, uh, uh, new wiring. See, what this, did this go to, Eric? Right here. This Is wiring this, looks okay. There's the ground. This went in the ground, didn't it? For the power to the thing, right? That's the power that comes up. Uh huh. And um. Okay. And it splits into these wires, which are then ran up that pole over to these wires to run the fan. And uh. Yeah. This had a wasp nest in it too. I had to kill it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, guinea wasps. Oh, they're not nice either. Little really guinea wasps. So, um, it has the shelf still in it all the way around. Um, yeah. it has the uh, that has a the motor there for fan, and then of course on the across the top, the watering system that comes down both sides. And um, we'll check that out. And make sure it still works. Yeah, we'll have to. I'll have to test it with water. If not, the pipe. If the pipe is still good, I can, so I can change these fittings out and see uh, if they'll work. Alright. Um, you know, um, but all the way around, you know, you have nice little um, racks. And uh, okay. um, I was talking to Stumpy on the way to my hair appointment, and. Uh, he said, baby, that size greenhouse would be probably over $2,000. <laughs> so that, that makes the savings even better, doesn't it? it? Yeah. Hopefully if we can get it done. And yeah. uh, I, I, by doing this this way, I will not need the ridge cap. So I can take those and save money on that. Yeah, him and, and Kyle so come up with like using the um, the way that it's, it's a, a rounded top. You could lay your, I want to call it tin, it's not tin. No, it's, this is uh, polycarbonate is what it is. Yeah. Greenhouse um, yeah. plastic. And so it's, you know, it's supposed to be, you know, limited lifetime, you know, 20 year type plastic, hard to break. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously if you take lawn mowers and throw rocks at it real hard and you might bust it, but it'd uh, still be hard to bust. Yeah. And so hopefully it'll, it'll produce falls coming y'all. Oh look, yep. Blackbirds. Blackbirds are I'm migrating. About by the droves. Are migrating in. We'll have we'll yep. have some of those in 
every one of these pecan trees here shortly. Yep. But this will act as uh, a root canal. There they come. There's another swarm of them. Yep. Yep. They're going to come nest in these pecan trees. See them lighting in the pecan tree right now? Yeah. Right there. Mm hmm. And all of them, when you'll hear them, oh my goodness, they'll be so loud. But this will act as our. Um, um, ridge, vent. ridge cap. And then we'll come down and I'll slide up under, I'll tack it, slide it under, tack it, slide it under, tack it till we come over the lip. And then I'll work, um, you know, from the bottom up to this lip, you know, so that we keep everything overlapped. And that'll also allow us, well, we normally get our winds out of the north most of the time, and we're going to set it sideways where the wind runs over the, the dome of it so it don't hopefully catch these lips and cause a lot of lift on it. Mm -hmm. So um, we just got to get it ready. I, I wanted to get these, these fittings off and see if there's anything I'm going to need to do to them. That one's got to, uh, trying to uh, look at this so I can plan ahead for what I need here. This is a light. Half of these only have. It looks good. That's it? Oh. Yeah, it's still got good wiring there. Mm -hmm. so. Take the screws out right now. Yeah. Looks like a hodgepodge of screws, like they've done something before, but I, I might get a new piece get, for that. Yeah, you can buy those but anyway. If we have to, all that wiring still looks intact right now mm -hmm. um, but I don't know I may run more new wire just in case okay all right so let's get get some outside panels on and start so working. we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna start since we're gonna have a lip of this not cut this off flush we're gonna leave a little lip we'll have that come to here mm -hmm. so what we're gonna do is put the these panels on first so I can cut the doors out and then I can take my saw, and if I have to, I can cut, you know, this flush to this. So it's, I'm not cutting it down on the, on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm able to just cut it right along the edge of that pole. Yep. So, all right, let's get to it. guys we've got the first two um, panels on down here this next panel is going to run into here uh, to the uh, the air circulation vent so we had to mark the um, I don't keep wanting to call it tin but polycarbonate uh, greenhouse wall and we're gonna cut it so that it'll sit flush all the way across here but it, the, out, the, the other side will up it here right there will uh, sit flush so we're gonna come out here and we're gonna use our new blade and uh, cut our cut our um, we got our lines mark let me show you so we have our lines there's a line there and a line and that's the width of the air vent so he's just gonna take that saw and cut yeah. mm -hmm. And I looked away. I wasn't looking at that when I held. So right. I protected my eyes.
we had to go and cut the door out. So we got two pieces. Um, this is my side, so I'll put it here and I'll help him down here. So before we get too far, he's going to get the door. And we're going to see how it fits and stuff like that. So here he comes with the door to it. So the door has all this um, seal, sealant or caulking, caulking here. We're just pulling it off. So we've got it tacked up there slightly. We're going to secure it some more. It does look a little lower. Hey, Eric. You're off here a little bit. See how yeah, you... It's the... So. Oh, okay. Go ahead then. Maybe it's just a, a minute thing. Oh no, there's a hole right below it. Okay. Okay. So, this one here. A lot of spiders come off the store. Yeah. Okay, guys. We got our door is in um, we've got this side panel up and we've got that side panel up now what we decided we would do is we got the top piece all the way across and what Eric is going to do he is going to kind of trace outside the frame and get his jigsaw and cut it um, we are going to get flashing, uh, metal flashing to go around the corners. Um, down here where the where the um, other side will meet here, we'll put metal flashing around it. Um, we also, we're, we're going to have to come here and trace this outline around the door. Um, to cut it. Um, his his um, skill saw has been doing good. I think we're going to use the, his jigsaw on this one since he's got to cut an angle. So, rather it be lo far, uh, larger than smaller, correct? Huh? The, um, the cut. Actually, actually I'm going to I'm gonna try to cut it true. Uh-huh. Uh, because you know the other piece has got to sit on top of it. Oh, okay. But you don't want it to be. I don't want it to be uh, too short. far up high, but mm. I can't have it short. Okay. I'm gonna try to. I mean, I'm trying to draw it right on the pole. I might be able to do. I'm, what I may do is just try to. I may see if I can use my jig. Let me get it. See if I can use my jig and just trace it across the top of the pole. Okay. If I can. So our um, jigsaw blade was not quite long enough to get in the corrugated thing, so we went to see if he could find a longer blade, and that'll work. So we'll see when he gets back if it's going to work. So we've just about got the ends done. Um, and then we just have to do the sides and the top and we'll be done. Maybe today we can finish it. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh... Hey guys. Sorry, I'm a heavy breathing. We had to move it. It was out there. And the sun has gotten too hot, so we had to get it up under the, under the pecan trees, the canopy of the pecan trees. But we've got this front cut. We used the jigsaw. Lost several blades. For me so we got the front side done um and now let's 
back side real quick. We've got the window cut out here. Um, and we're going to use a jigsaw again. Maybe we'll lose more blades. And just follow the frame of the, um, of the greenhouse. So, here we go. Okay, so we got it cut. We lost another blade, but it's uh, it's cut. Now we're gonna start on the top. We're almost out of screws though. Now we got not another box, but you think we'll probably get it together, but we'll need to pick up some more just to get it yeah, more right. stabilized. Woo. Hey guys. Hey. Stumpy's joined us. There you. Oh, where'd he go? Where did he go? He's behind me. Got um, Stumpy here. Nanny and Meemaw's been watching us. Let me show you what we've done so far. So, we got the, the, we with the half of the roof. Got the front. And we got this, this wall over here. We're out of screws, so we gotta go get some more screws. But we got this wall done. We're gonna jigsaw, cut that excess off right there so that we can do flashing around it but it's starting to come we out. are going to be in the sun again in just a few minutes okay um so we just got this one side and we realized we're short one panel so we're gonna have to go it looks good from this way look at that look at that oh hang on eric i'll help you he's ready to cut that, that looks good. No, no, no. Looks good. So let me get back here and get busy. Okay, guys. Um, let me give you just a little update. The sun's coming down. Um, we uh, had to make a trip to Lowe's to get more screws. We thought we were we didn't have an, another panel, but we did have enough paneling. I was going to get some um, corner molding to put on the outside to help. Can't find it, but we'll figure it out. I'd love to have some. I'd think it would be, you know, it would um, make it look better. So we'll see. But Eric, we're going to get the top. And then we just got to do this one side and we'll be done um, putting the panels up. It's taking all day. We're going to we're gonna get the panels on at least. And then we'll figure but out how did, to do the corner. I did get the fan checked and it's working. Absolutely. So the water system works and the fan works, works. to pull the heat out of there when oh. you need it to. I just may rewire everything electrically. Yeah. And what I may do, instead of wiring it for hard electricity, we may just may wire it for an extension cord instead of trenching. Because you'd have to trench, you'd have to trench wire up yeah. under the garden. You'd have to trench it three or four foot deep so you didn't miss grab it with the tractor implement. Right. So it may be easier to make it uh, a thing that comes out that you can just plug your cord into times that you're needing it to run it. You can like an outlet right there. And plug it in and you'll have power. Yeah. So I may I may end up doing that. But um that wire probably needs to be re re pulled through. So I'll just tie some new wire to this end of this, pull it all out down the through tube. Yeah. And work with new fresh wire because it's yeah. kind of dry. Yeah. a little bit more permanent. <laughs> yeah, definitely a little bit more permanent. Yep. I'm just going to go right smab, dab, center of our raised bed area. We're trying to, you know, make that look more appealing and uh, get some more raised beds out there so that we can our stuff in our raised beds because we've enjoyed the raised bed gardening for sure. All right. Okay. We started at what time? 12 well, hours ago? Well, we left the house at about 6.40 to get to Home Depot when they opened. Yep. And um, it's taken till, I don't know what time it is now, probably 6.30. Yeah. Now. Yeah. To get the everything complete, the panels on, 
all the screws in. Um, everything's functional. Like we said, uh, I did test the water too, yeah. uh, and it, the sprayers work. Mm -hmm. So I'll just have to uh, create a system to get water into it, yeah. and then be able to run power to it. Yeah. And so we're going to work on that part. And this is not where we're leaving it. It's actually going to go out in the middle of the, um, on the end of the middle raised bed. And then we're going to mirror this side of the raised bed on the other side. And then that'll just be our raised bed area where we plant most of our vegetables from now on. Right. Um, and we're not, definitely not done with it. It's functional now. It could be used if we needed to, but of course it's not cold enough yet. And then, uh, but we will do some caulking and, um, Stuff around the edges. I do want to find some kind of, if y'all have any suggestions on what we could use for the uh, corner. I went to find corner flashing and I couldn't find it. Yeah, we'll we'll find something to put on the corner. Around the edge. Just to make it look a little better. Yeah. I remounted the fan um, mm -hmm. because the fan mount was broke. Yeah. So I got that on mm -hmm. and, um, and so we'll just caulk around it, get it functional, run power. We'll sit it out there, and actually the door will be facing the pecan trees this way. Yeah. And um, and then that way, um, you know, we can pull hot air out the other side and right. blow it out. Right. In well, the hot time, and in the winter time, obviously we'll keep it um, keep it off, and you want to keep all the warmth you can in. We'll get a humidity uh, temperature gauge and all that stuff in there so we can right. kind of monitor the humidity in it. Uh-oh, he's trying to catch that squirrel. He just ain't fast enough and, for Murphy. You know, make sure that we, you know, when we are running plants in it in the wintertime that you know, humidity is good, yeah. uh, air temperature, all that stuff's going to be good in there. Achoo. So it'd be a good experiment for us. Yeah. And um, it is time to clean. I got crap all over I've me. i got polycarbonate in all the, my crevices everywhere. Yep. Everywhere. And, uh, so I do too. And, uh, so, we haven't eaten since the biscuit this morning, so we're ready to. We are ready. Clean up and so, eat. Uh, and we appreciate y'all watching us, and we can't wait to uh, share more with you as we update and uh, make this area more um, feet, more functional, functional and uh, and stuff like that. So remember, guys, a simple life is a much more enjoyable life. Get out there, grow your own food. We'll see you on the next video.